right, how are we looking? Posting the link in a couple places and then um, gonna be closing out Discord. before the stream starts, all right. Go ahead and ask. Also, how are audio levels? Please let me know. If they're... How about you guys can hear my freaking... Okay, so... Yeah, the fan still isn't fixed yet. <laughs> why, Mac, why? There have been no streams for a long time. I missed you, chat. I, I missed all of you guys. Uh... So, let's not waste time, because we've got a couple campaigns to get to. Also, I'm going to move my mic. The first th we're starting with Jack and Liz 2, because, you know, just, you, we, we have to. <laughs> just, the original Jack and Liz just has this really lovely place in my heart. Let me go ahead and test my audio right now. No one asks why, no one asks how. Just pulling up chat on my phone. Come on. How are you doing today? Yeah, this song, uh... <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, I've, I've been worse, I've been better, I don't want to go too much into detail about it right now, but, um, hopefully things are looking up, so, okay, Jack and Liz, here it is, Jack and Liz 2, it's 14 levels, Jesus Christ, y'all ready, you ready for this, the covers don't look great, still, Hi, Brandon, what's up? No matter where you go, everyone's connected. Copyright strike? I hope I don't get a strike. <laughs> that would suck. I can already tell he's not aligned. I mean... Let's be fair, it's hard to align character type. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let me take stock. It's Jacket's place. So Jack and Liz is in the Hotline universe. I assume. What? Those doors are cursed. Morning, Howard. Good morning, Detective. We weren't expecting you. Oof. Jeez. Okay. From the looks of this break-in gone wrong. Who are the Vicks? Vicks! Vapor up. Hellfire, your first part of the name is <laughs> how I feel. Oof. Yeah, 2016 Hunter's already released. It's in the uh, in the good old games version. Someone link that in chat, if you would. Lovely couple, I assume. The woman was pronounced dead on scene. The man is still breathing. He's been taken to St. Joseph's Medical Hospital. Time. The dry blood indicates they've been here all night. Who found them? One of the neighbors early this morning. She said she saw the door open inside to have are Jack and Liz... I hope they're not neighbors to Jacket. That'd be fucking hilarious. But I don't know what to expect. Now, the first one was not a joke campaign. Hey, Howard. Yes, Detective. These casings. What about them? They're 9mm. Yes, so? <laughs> well, a uh, boy... I mean, yeah, silence 9mm weapon, I, that... 
Yeah. Only organized criminals use silence 9mm. Are you sure about that? Getting a ranged hit. Okay. I don't want to put my finger just yet, because you're... I mean, okay, good, but... Weren't dispelled like a euphemism. <laughs> Airpod shoddy. Johnson, many or Evan are portrayed as... It's just butchered as fuck characters are instantly out. I like having you around, Mira, don't go. I'd be so sure. Well, this shit happened to them. Thanks for masked assailants and their organization falling apart. I actually did not check the date. I was looking at chat when the date card showed up. <laughs> I'm gonna blitzkrieg them with questions, okay. That's quite an educated guest detective. Yes, uh, some would even say contrived. <laughs> Was the mouth this fucked up in the original sprite? I don't remember. Or the vanilla sprite, I mean. Or no, wait. No, this was the father character from the first one, I think. They took his NES. Or is it under the table? I don't know. It's sad they don't even use custom furniture for Jacket's place. A little sad, but whatever. I'm, I'm projecting. Yo, let's take the DeLorean. Come, ah, fine. I don't know about laws or... Oh, no. Oh, okay, well. Also, seriously? I, I didn't take this guy to be a... Let's go in with with two machine guns. It's... Ugh. Oh, shit. Didn't... Oh, the ma the bear mask still comes off when he dies. Oof. Give me a bitch. Come on. There we go. I'm slightly out of practice, I think. Flicking Swamp Chief had Johnson's face sprayed? Yes, he did. Detective Killer sounds familiar. Everything for the fellow detective, right? Oh, I didn't read the description on the workshop before I played this, so that's why I'm so out of... Uh... Oh shit, that was a fat guy. Nice bathroom tiles. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yo, Mac chat. Finally, can watch your streams since my exams are over. Yeah, nice. I've been missing them so much. Brotherhood is fantastic. Love every second of it. Thank you. Sorry, let me just check audio levels. The man is still breathing. He's been taking their nine millimeters. Yes, so. <laughs> okay, looks good. I am out of practice. Haven't played Hotline in several weeks at this point, I feel like. You know, it's gonna sound weird, but I recently came to the epiphany that when it comes to streaming, people usually don't... Or, let me rephrase this. If you want to... If someone wants to build up uh, a streamer sort of hobby, I guess. People would mostly come... I guess people would come for the games and stay for the commentator, the, the commentator, you know? Ah, oh, damn it.
Oh, shit, shotgun. Yep, there we go. Fuck. I'm still using that uh, quiet mouse, which is a little janky, but I appreciate it to having loud clicks. You guys can probably hear it because it's like right next to the mic. Oh, yes, from one to jet engine, how loud's the fan this time? Just curious. Alright, come on, Shuddy. There we go. I said that as a joke unironically. Please, a mall cop level. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I can I can see that working in a comedy campaign. I'd be down for that. Working on turning Pardo into Makar? Well, good luck. Let me know if you have any... I don't know. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know if I'd have time to help personally, but I don't know. I'd like to see when that's out. Honestly, if there ever are enough fan campaigns based on the sprite dump, I, I genuinely want to make a compilation of a bunch, just playing a bunch of Hunter fan campaigns. That would warm my heart. Oh, fuck. Can you believe I'm actually moving on to other games? Not just Hotline 2? It's great. I'm still doing the Repentance stream next week, by the way. Because I've been craving some Isaac. Bruh. Bruh! <laughs> oh, yikes. Oh, what? Uh, okay. A little hard to make out where the hell I'm going. You want me to go ahead and close my window blinds? Turn off my lights so I can see better. <clears throat> Wait, I just read the name of the stream. Are you going to stream that Alex porn campaign? Yes, I am. It is the new Puzzle Box campaign that is a parody of Naked Cory Porno, which in itself was a comedy campaign. I was trying to example, but based on what you said, Joel's my favorite campaign streamer specifically because that man could talk about literal grass and make it funny. That, that's awesome. I mean, fuck, I've been watching a lot of Northern Lion recently because I just, he's such a wholesome guy. Turn and face me. Drop your gun. He didn't tell that to anyone else. He just came in guns blazing. Is this Ashti? Do we get more Ashti? Let's go. I don't have all day. I said drop it. Final warning. Oh my god, why is he giving warnings to this guy when he's mowed everyone else down? This is fucking great. Hey! Pardo. It's a boy! It's a boy! When the hell did you get here? Same as you, I guess. Except I made my way more quiet-like. That seems backwards, doesn't it? Pardo's the guns blazing guy. Also, what's up with the edges? I just noticed that. Well, thanks for nothing. I was gonna apprehend our friend here. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> it looks like you were looking for an excuse. Looks like you were gonna apprehend a bullet instead. So you're welcome. That's probably the most contrived uh, standoff I think I've seen in... I was gonna say in recent memory, but I don't remember much. I don't remember many campaigns. His eyebrow is still fucked up. I remember that from the first one. You're always a shifty one, Pardo. So you'll see you back at the station? Of course. Of course is two words. Hey, anyone remember uh, when I... Never mind. I feel like I talk about myself too much. Anyway, as uh, people who play D&D &D with me will tell you, I'm not the best at improv, so... <laughs> oh, you didn't give level scores. It's a shame. I might even make Fat Nikolai, I don't know yet. That'd be funny. Go for it. I love some, some fucking ass shadows. Am I late? Not really. No, we just started. Alright, we are back in just assault. Why are we got why do we have mafia boys? Okay. 
fucking rip. Why do you have deleted the previous stream? Also, no chat. So, previous stream... I, play, I played Binding of Isaac for like 15 minutes, and I hated it so much. I was like, I had no idea what to talk about. It was just a real mess. So I deleted the stream, and I'm like, I'm going to come back to this when I actually have more energy. Because I was out of energy when I streamed that. Do I just pass through here? I guess so. No chat on MA stream, big sad. Yeah. One of my streams didn't even save. Like, the... Uh, are you just gonna leave the door unlocked? <laughs> okay. Um, one of my streams, I don't recall which one it is, like, the live replay is not even available. It's straight up... Like, it's straight up not even working at all. Good morning, Chief Williams. O'Brien. Morning, Detective. Dis oh, dear. Couldn't even take the sprite from Hotline 1, bruh. He's so... Yeah. Jank. What do you have on the break? What do you have on the break-in case? Well, I see Howard hasn't edited the report. What do you mean, Detective? He hasn't gotten a proofreader. But we aren't proofreaders either. It's no longer ruled as a break-in. We've discounted a... Excuse me. We've discovered a possible arranged hit. Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm just that good. I'll send the reports to confirm my claim. All I ask is an officer watch over your live Vic. Vic. Well, still funny. I got a feeling he knows more than he can... Ch he knows more than he can chew? I think you're mixing up metaphors. Of course. Nice work, detective. Maybe we can get back to the masked murder cases soon. I hope so. I still need to finish the reports on yesterday's murders. Yesterday? Yeah, like, <laughs> just the other day. Multiple Russian gangsters dead. Only this time, someone drove a van through the place and burned a man. I'll be seeing those's reports then. But I do hope you're feeling alright, detective. I mean, you've been working very hard these past few months. I've been hoping we finally close this case soon. Yeah, Chief. I uh, Okay, who's the Chief here? It's not this guy. Okay. Yeah, Chief. I'm not sure how long we can keep this away from the media. I mean, that's all they talk about on the news lately. I'm wondering the same myself, gentlemen. By the way, Detective, I finished reading the report from five days ago. The bathhouse murders. Murders. The bathhouse murders, correct. Same old story, but the time we found some of the masses saying on stuff. So, we're setting up where we are in the timeline. Mm hmm Possible lead. Enlighten us. Green. Oh, no. The police chief's named Green. I'm getting horrible... God damn it. TBH, I've owned Hennecannon now. The police station looks... <laughs> because this one's just boring, lol. Hmm. So our detective's named Green, which was probably established in the first one. I just totally forgot about it. Lauderdale, yeah. We know that one of we know that the bottom guy's gonna die. There's a lot of dialogue. I want Jack. I miss Jack. The Jack kid, yeah. You have my condolences, Green. Trust me, it's my fault for taking him in back then. I'm sure he changed, Green. I doubt it, Chief. I doubt that punk would still be locked up. Wait, wait are they calling each other Chief? <laughs> Who's Chief around these parts? Unfortunately, poor punks have rights. What do you mean, unfortunately? You watch him green. Poor Liz's already been through a lot. A lot is two words. Like two years ago with those damn Russians. Okay, wait. That's right. Jack and Liz, the original, was set in 1987, wasn't it? I'm sure you don't think that, that will ever happen again. Sure. Speaking of Russians, not that they're on the ver now they're on verge of collapse. We're not going to talk about the lore in this. Because it seems kind of... Colombians and Cubans, okay. Pardo's area? <laughs> Pardo is quite the hot shot. Uh, I don't know about him, Chief. Okay, th there's a lot of dialogue. I know the stream just started, but goddamn, I'm already getting exhausted. Red Boy is crossbreed with Tomato Brother. <laughs> tomato Man, yes! This is Tomato Man. The police station from the second game, either from Martin's side or Manny Pardo's con side, is way better than the one from last one. Changed my mind. They got. I mean. I think it depends on what style they're going for. I just don't think you should mix him. He fell into a coma. What? How long until he's up again? We don't know! What kind of question is that? Yeah, uh, hey, how long's this coma gonna last? So I can book an appointment. Doctors say it could take days, weeks, even months. I mean, that kind of tends to be the case with comas. 
unless it's like a medically uh, this might what I thought it was like a medically induced coma or something I don't know there goes your lead green fuck lol don't beat yourself up detective at least he's still detective green fucking hell has anyone here read ter is anyone here read terrible creepy pasta if you do have you ever read sonic exe 2 because there was a fucking character named detective green in it and he was such a fucking moron uh, I remember those days. Back in high school, I was really into making fun of Terrible Creepy Pasta. It was a lot of fun. Look forward to closing this damn case. Soon, Captain. So he's is he Captain? Is he Chief? We don't know. Okay, so, okay. Black guy's Chief. Tomato Boy is Captain. And then Green is Detective. Got it. Why don't you take the day off? You've earned it. When Vic awakes, we'll call you immediately. All right, then. I'll be hearing from you soon, I assume. Good day, gentlemen. Keep an eye on our man. Yes, detective. I feel like I've been spoiled. I'm expecting secret cutscenes now. Break in. The Hawaii campaign was so good. I don't remember what it was called, but it was really good. Fuck. Oh, elevators are a little cursed. Why do I have the same fucking sprites just recolored away? It's Jack and Liz campaign. Yes, this is Jack and Liz. And they're all recolors. I'm not expecting too much. Ah, oh, is this Jack? Is this a boy? With a Hawaiian shirt? I think this is a boy. This is his apartment. With the weird-ass stairs and loft and everything. And Ashti. This music sounds weirdly familiar. Sup, J-Dog. Oh, God. Hey, Andy. Oh, his hair is actually, uh... Not the worst. Come on in. Uh. So what brings your ass here? Got something to share with you, man. Is that so? What the hell are you wearing? What, this shirt? It was a gift. From Liz? Yeah. Yeah. Accepting gift already, eh? It's just a shirt. Yeah, Ashty, you're being weird. Dodge Corey at the party last night. Now I know why. Everyone knows each other. They're all connected, you guys. You want to talk simp? Oh, God. Didn't this guy make that Andy simp campaign? He probably did. Also, that's right. This is the 1980s. I don't think the word simp existed back then. Also, who's Dean? I don't remember. Gunna with a U again. <laughs> Trying to change. Says the guy who uh, committed <laughs> mass murder the day after getting out of prison. Everyone remember that? <laughs> I guess finding a girlfriend mellowed him out. The Cubans. Like Zach's old pals? Yeah, but different. Remember, in the Hotline canon, the Russian Mafia is still operating. Like, the boss isn't dead yet. Proof ourselves. Whack someone. Old associate of cut ties with them. I'll tell you, we the car. All right, let's go. Was that really necessary? Eventide. Yes, that's what I. That was the name of it. Eventide has spoiled me. Nice all white car. I'm already confused. It's just like a lot of um, a lot of preamble to what's basically a a plot tying into the Hotline universe. I don't have a gun. What am I doing? Why is the re pistol a revolver? Let me check. This has, does this have mods in it? Hold on. Hold the phone. Music link. Edit. I noticed if people are having trouble accessing the music link, I fixed it. Feel free to reach out. 
There's no mods attached to this. I think this was also a problem in this in uh, the original as well. Hmm. So that's uh. Well, that's uh not ideal. You make a 14 level campaign, and you you should at least learn the basics, my dude, my guy. You know what I'm genuinely curious about seeing? If we get, like, an Ozymandias-style um, alternate universe thing for the Hunter series where, like, folks don't all die or something. I feel like that would be something Mira would really would really appreciate. I'd appreciate it. Uh, what? Okay, we're just Hammer. That's fine. This music is weirdly chill. Ashley, the second best character after a VIP guard. This campaign kind of snooze, yeah. But, damn it, I said I'd play it. Ugh. This campaign's quite snooze, Plank. But we're only two levels in. Because I'm not... I'm not gonna call it quits just because we're a little bored. That, that, that is what a quitter thinks. That's what a loser might think. Nah, man. Streamer has to make their own fun. Bathroom dodgers in this. I mean, it's not a bathroom, I know, but a lot of quote unquote bathroom dodgers in this campaign. I think Eventide raised the bar for everyone, like Brotherhood and many other good campaigns do. Eventide was really fucking good. Why does Jack have cat eyes? What? Uh. Maybe I'm. I'll have, to, I'll have to look on that again. Oh, I'll have to check that again. Fucking cat eyes, really? Bathroom dodger. Making it right now, I just made it. It's done. Wait, watch, I hear my name. Yes, some more people care about you. Yes. Oh, I was looking at chat. Almost got uh, spooked. Your Instagram is getting spammed. Nice little corners at the top. That is, I mean, to be fair, that's kind of an editor quirk. Uh, just kind of died on top of the guy. That that placement in the death sprite was just kind of perfect. So, honestly, nothing I can say about the sprites that isn't self-evident. Not gonna waste my breath. Gotta love the title choice. It's so, it's so easy to make out the gang enemies. No, it's great. God, this music is just so... It's too chill. Ah, oh, god damn it. Mac, check Steam, bro, I made Hunter 2. <laughs> Plank, no! Okay, fine. Is this Coom Taker 3, Hunter? <laughs> I mean, couldn't be worse than Hunter Come Fall, let's be honest. 
that campaign genuine, genuinely cancer. And yeah, it's trying to be cancer, but come on. That was pre-fire. Oh, this guy with the silencer is just fucking me right off. Come here. Ah, oh, finally. Let's get back to more Jack of, uh... <laughs> Let's get back to Jack mo emotionally manipulating his girlfriend some more. Fucking dick. <laughs> no, I'm sure... I, You know, if there was actual character development and Jack's a nicer guy throughout this campaign, I say is he just went and slaughtered a whole bunch of folks. Probably not. Sup? <laughs> Are these the Cubans? I hope these are the Cubans. Oh, fuck, it has to be the Cubans. Oh, my God. Hey, Andy. I'm here. Would you call? Told them the job we did. Gonna meet us here. Andy, no offense, but the last time you guys invited organized gangsters didn't end well for you yet. All right, I'm gonna get through the dialogue fast. Uh, you worry too much. Yep. Uh, oh, hmm. Uh, they're here. Hey, guys, how you doing? How, how much do you want to bet this is going to be a henchman's face? Oh, no, it's not. It's, uh, worse. Hola, Andy. <laughs> Frederico and Juan. <laughs> Buenas. What? What? I think you missed a word? See? Whatever. What? Bruh! Did he just make the cutscene and then place down the furniture? There's the face! I love it! His mouth is, uh... Did, it mouth, did his mouth fuck up like that last time? I don't remember. Yeah, Jack is still, uh... <laughs> uh... He's still really touchy. I'm scared. I'm scared, Jack. I, I don't like you. I didn't like you last time, but I still kind of hate you even more. Yeah? There we go. Gotta wait for them to... The gull? The gull. As in the seagull. That's not the expression. The gull. Jack, don't be so high and mighty. Reliable Al. Yep. Peace, brother. Mmm. It's like... What? Okay, this guy has ghost hands. Cool. <laughs> Level 3 out of fucking 14. Oh, God. I changed my banner for the name... And the name for this joke, and I'm keeping it. Let's go. Thanks for my new nickname, Mac. You're very welcome. Universal Universe Hunter Downfall was the next Hunter game. Downfall was good, too. I DM'd you the best thing in the universe. Ooh. Let's check it out in a moment. I recognize this dialogue. It's from Scarface. Really? God damn it. Oh, this is Al. It's a uh, party party Russian. If this guy turns out to be a mole for the mafia, don't say I didn't call it. 
Who's this guy? Oh dear. He's a white guy. That is Martin. Hello, Martin. I am Hector. I'm Jack. Frederico says you're okay. Frederico's okay, too. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And you spelled okay properly there. That's weird. You got the money. Got the stuff. No, not the car, man. No? How about you? Where do you have your stuff? Not far. Okay. Where are you from, Jack? What the fuck difference does it make where I'm from? <laughs> Jack, why are you so quick to anger? Mira. I know that's... <laughs> Sorry, Mira, that was a coincidence. I don't know... I it's tra Google Translate Spanish, Jack. Go to the bathroom. They're all walking on top of each other. Bruh. Oh my god, this is so cramped. Okay, so yeah, Al's not the Russian spy. We know that. How's he gonna get out of this one? <laughs> what? I... Someone play that back in slow motion. Um... <laughs> Andy, I'll be fine. Don't let him escape. Okay. The gull. <laughs> the gull of these people. Ugh. Strip scene at the motel, beat by fucking beat. Oh my god, that was Scarface. Fuck, dude. Not only is there a lot of dialogue, it's just like... Uh, not even original. God. Oh, I should take the Mendoza. Whatever. Nope. Nope. There we go. Ah! What's up with the... Are they supposed, are they supposed to be garage doors? Like, bruh. Ah. It always gets me. Was that an attempt at an action scene? It's not done in the HM2 editor. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Film and games. Uh, different different mediums, y'all. I've heard Europeans call it film. Americans call it film, too, right? I'm not weird by saying that. Apparently I spelled the word judgment with the two E's like they do in, uh, in Europe. <laughs> And they got on me real hard about that in law school, and I had to teach myself how to respell it, which was fucking annoying. And since I left law school, I went back to the European spelling, because, uh... Law school ain't for me. <laughs> Who's left? Dog! There we go. Pfft. You fucking dorks. Alright, who's left? This guy. Pop. Who's left? Ah, uh, it's so boring. But I just want to see this rip off Scarface some more. Not gonna lie. Is that it? That's not it. All right, we got another gun. We got a shotgun. Come here. Someone got heavily inspired by Scarface. Is this whole thing gonna be a Scarface ripoff? I hope not. You know, someone told me that, um... Oh, well, never mind. Oh! <laughs> that works. Kind of. Damn it. 
Hey, gotta love the building that's just a rooftop, right? Or I guess it's like a one-story convenience store. That makes sense. Whatever. This campaign's making my brain melt a little bit. God, if I want to see, if I want to watch Scarface, I just want, I just, I'll just watch Scarface. <laughs> This campaign is like. Never mind. I'm gonna save my bitching. Whoop. Shit. Also, I like how the scorpion is silenced. Like, what? It's like. I have a hunch. One second. I have received a gift. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I will accept that gift. Thank you very much. Chaos Theory. Um, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Am I going crazy? Because this seems like it should have a patch wad. Never mind. It's not worth pursuing. It's really not. The, the last one did this as well. Swedish Embassy lol. No, I don't know what that is. Hey. Oh. Hold on. We're almost done. God, I hope we're almost done. How much longer does this have to go? I think we loop back around, yeah. Hey! Where the fuck do you think you're on your going? I'll kill you! <laughs> okay. Good job killing me, bro. Alright, we're fucking done. Film and movie are interchangeable, pretty much. Imagine playing this and then watching the film for the first time. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I'm better than I expected. Yeah, poor Al. We hardly knew ye. Of course, it's two words. College. A legit business, huh? Tomorrow? You misspelled tomorrow! Constantly! God, you need a proofreader. Fuck. Also, apologies to the one person, or like, <laughs> the, the like one or two people on my whole poll that said I swear too much in my streams. 97% of people disagreed. <laughs> so, yeah. Democracy wins. Um, I can say whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, it's either Scarface ripoffs or just uh, fucking pointless. But... God damn it. I'm gonna get through this whole thing. As a personal challenge of my stream streamer skills. This guy looks like henchman with hair. I mean he pretty much is. I'm not saying this is Scarface, but it's Scarface. Ashy's just sitting there after being shot like nothing happened. Yeah. Fuck my E key. My E key's broken too, don't worry about it. Where the hell are we in an airport? I hmm. Wait a second, who are we? I looked at this shrine before I looked at the player character. Oh, don't go heckling me. Excuse me, ma'am. Spare some change? Of course. Okay, you know what? The character design has improved a little bit, even though the sprite's a little jank and the colors are fucked. Hey, fellas, check it out. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Are we gonna have another she almost gets raped by a gang thing? Are we really gonna do that again? We had it twice in the last one. Hey guys, what, er, uh, what the heck do you guys want? I don't know, it's a tough one. Plan on doing anything stupid, are you? You call me stupid? You stupid bitch. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Yes, you fucking did. Seriously, what do you guys want? Your boyfriend, Zach, misses you. We c Oh, God. You're kidding. We just came back to send his regards. So that's what this is about. So, any words, princess? Yes. You uneducated assholes can go screw yourselves. Oh, this one has a mouth. It's a shame that you're gonna be forced to... Oh, God. <laughs> you know, that reminds me. I had to return the favor. Beat them up. What are you gonna do with that? Oh, dude. Not cool. Alright, who's next? Self-defense 2. Patriotic Boogaloo. Did they turn into a Mitri campaign? They're not doing it, please. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> yeah, it's like the same campaign, but again. And she's wearing a dolphin's jacket. Except the colors are... Bruh. I will say, this campaign seems to use what sounds like actual 80s music instead of, like, I don't know, Monster Cat or something. Which is... something? Doesn't fit, though. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Playing Evan non violently? I don't know. It's forced to have it. Oh, he's dead. Alright, he's not dead. Whoops. He's unalive. Oh, fuck. This is going to be a long day. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I, they took the Evans melee animation and just replaced it with the regular melee animation. That is kind of funny. To kind of show kind of a character that doesn't have upper body strength. I kind of like that. Who's left? This guy. Okay. And that guy. Okay. I feel like this brain- this- this music is like emptying my brain. And not in the pleasant way. What do you mean, his workout mixtape totally fits my- over my possible rape scene? Oh, Jesus. I'm going to gloss over how awful that scene just was and make fun of the god-awful colors, yeah. Okay, for those of you who did not- whoops. For those of you who didn't see Jack and Liz 1, the reason why that scene didn't leave me phased was because they did that before. Um, that exact- basically that exact scene, uh, like twice in the last one, to the same character. And there was even a reference to the Mafia boss who almost, uh, you know, put, puts puts his, uh, you know, d does the do. Um, maybe I'm not treating the subject matter with enough respect. 
I don't know. I mean, I'm an asexual weirdo, and that kind of thing just doesn't... It makes me uncomfortable, but not for the same reasons it might for other folks. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. Come on. What number level is? I think we're on level four? Oh god. This is gonna be a long fucking day. Like I said. Thank god I'm wrapping this up with a good campaign. Stick around for that. Because puzzle box campaigns are actually really good. Come here. Here we go. It's just straight up. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Jack and Liz is not a campaign I should be eating chips to. Probably not. I mean, either... I mean, Jack and Liz is either super incompetent... Super... Like, okay. Like, 80 75% of the time... Or 80% of the time, it's just fucking boring. 10% of the time, it's kind of shocking. And then 10% of the time, it's pretty funny. You know what? Come here. Oh god. Oh my god, look at that. That's awful. God damn it. Reminder, this campaign came out, like, last week. So the purr! Jesus. The person who, uh, made this hasn't gotten much better with experience, it seems. Fuck. Are we almost done? Even when the sprites are recolored, they wiggle around. Like, come on, dude. Let's see, the fact that it's a porn campaign is automatically ruled out by it being puzzled. He can make anything good with his writing. Hell yeah, he can. That should be the last of them. Oh no, look behind you. Thank goodness. Oh no. Dramatic irony. Thought you can get away, huh, bitch? Shit. Ada, I got you right where I want you. Alright, you got me. Just get this over with. Oh god, that's defeatist. You make it. Oh, look that easy. What are you waiting for? I'm, wa <laughs> I'm waiting for Day Sex Machina. Where'd you come from? Liz, you okay? Jack. How'd you find me? I heard some young lady was beating up a couple of assholes out here. Thought I'd come to take a look. How are you? Better now? Good. Did you do something with your hair? Yes, I did. Also, I got contacts, apparently. I'm glad you noticed, and I'm more glad that you're wearing the shirt I gave you. Sports car. There he is. Well, then I don't see the fucking pixels below the chick's face. I'll have to. I'll take a look at it next time I see her. I'm seeing it. Look on the... Oh, dear. That's awful. If you look closely at the bottom bar, it's really hard to see. Okay, I'm gonna skip the love dialogue stuff, because I do not fucking care. And we have a lot to get through. So. You couldn't even use the gang walking animation. What the fuck?
I hope I don't get struck with the copyright for any of these songs. What was that about? Bidness. None of your bidness. Finally, you're not wearing all black. Yeah. Not gonna comment on that scene because I skipped the uh, dialogue. He's standing on the chair like a crazy meathead. Meth head, excuse me. It's this guy again who... Works over time to go back upstairs. You know you have a daughter who came back from college? Detective Green. Oh, there she is. Good dad, thanks for asking. Be damned. <laughs> oh, here's the phone. <laughs> hey, Green is part O. What's up? At least we're going to get a different player character, right? I hope. Are we going to be playing Pardo? <clears throat> I love 50B Nerd on the left typing on his chips box. 10 out of 10. Honestly, this is probably written by a young person. I'd say maybe high schooler. Maybe younger. Does he have two landlines on either side of his bed? Oh, I wasn't looking. Do I get to play Pardo? No, I don't. Gotta play this fucker again. Okay, my mouse is uh, being screwy. Hang on, is the ma is the bear mask recolored or is it just not sprited out? I think it's just not sprited out. For a second there, I thought it was like. Oops, didn't see that guy. For a second, I thought it was like a toupee flying off or something, but no. At least it's not a mixtape this time. Fuck. Why did this guy not bother removing the bear mask? He probably didn't know how. But then again, this campaign doesn't exactly scream effort. What is this fucking music? Why is your fan? I don't know. Probably because he got too lazy to sprite new stuff. That seems to be the case with a lot of this campaign. I don't think this is meant to be a comedy campaign. I think it's just kind of a lack of effort. Because we're trying to tell a lot of story. Okay. 
I was gonna put this in my mode before I started using post rock. Generic synthwave song number forty six. Yep. Not gonna. Um, this song's not memorable. Uh, probably a good thing you didn't go with it. Uh, fuck. It's okay, but it's repetitive as shit. Yeah. It's not a bad song, but it's just totally forgettable. By looks of this campaign quality, I call it quits after the second level. Does Matt Carr have a car? Uh, he does have a van. Um, I wish I could just set up polls during stream. Maybe I should switch to Twitch sometime, but... Should I just, like... I'm, 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 I have half a mind to just kind of call this early, because holy shit, this campaign's fucking boring. I didn't know it was 14 fucking levels. I really should have checked that. Uh... We have seen him enter a van once. Yeah, the van that's, um... Actually, the van that's used in, um... What is it? The, um... Shit. It took me four hours to beat it. It's not getting better. Oh my god. Not even, like, funny? Because if it's not even funny, then what's the point? Anyway, that van that's uh, at the end of Vengeance that they go to, that also shows up in the uh, first outro of Brotherhood. That is, the, that is the boy's van. Or the gang's van, I guess. Oh shit, I didn't know I was out. Math Minal. I don't understand rooms being too little, but I don't understand rooms too big. If you make big rooms, depends on how you lay them out and what sort of cover you have. Then, I don't know, try using a card that's already in sprites? Should be doing homework, I'm watching Max stream. Oh. After the first level, if you go down, there's Nikolai and three boys. I'm so happy I found that. Yes. I mean, it's just a reskin of the standard van, basically. <laughs> Nothing too complicated. But if you want to try something else, Go for it. I wouldn't blame you. I thought there was a door there. 
First off, you go to, yeah. Honestly, I, I think I'm just curious to see how this ties into the hotline cannon. Tell me about that, Cap. Uh, t tell me about that, Nox. Sip. Suddenly became a pistol, okay. Now they announce police. I mean, they don't... Hmm. <laughs> Nikolai Solsheimer's car might use his, maybe. <laughs> no shit posts allowed. Yeah, please, uh, advice for someone new making levels. Uh, aim higher than this campaign. I mean, not necessarily in terms of plot or ambition, but, like, just how the levels are constructed. Make, make, make them better than this, because <laughs> this campaign is so boring. Ah. Also, try not to make shit posts, because those are not really appreciated. I might as well give every synthwave uh, until it's synthwave. So how to determine whether a song sounds unique or not? I don't know shit about music theory. I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of play it by ear, no pun intended, um, and um, if I like how it sounds, if I if I like how it sets, a, if I think it sets a particular mood, then I use it. <laughs> okay, uh, that was there before. I just I didn't really. Re didn't register with my brain. Hey, Pardo, what's up? The fat cop becomes 50B a member, then captures Jacket at one point. Richter and his mother appear, too. MA33 has proven that quality beats quantity. Yeah, quality beats quantity, absolutely. You know what? I'm gonna skip forward because I'm getting so fucking bored. Like, oh my god. Let's go with this one. Basically nothing happened except they moved, somehow moved the desks. Okay. So, what's all this? You did it, detective. You finally did it. You're at the end of solving the most infamous case in Miami history. Is this, uh, is this a caught ripoff? Thanks, chief, but I need to get him to talk. The papers are going wild. Yeah. Okay, so they have him in prison. They've ripped her in prison, right? I love how they just removed the desks because they didn't know how else to fit a crowd in here. It's so lazy. Let's go make history. What? Is this like post assault? No, I, I don't get what's up with that. This can't be post assault. No, I guess it is. This is, um, after he, Jack gets captured by the police, right? Jack? The hell are you doing here? Oh, it was Jack all along, you guys. <laughs> Jack solved the mystery. He looks a bit like you. I bet it's a recolor of Jack. That would be fucking rich. Are you going to give him a face? Are you going to give him a face? Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? You're not going to... Uh... Quite his mouse little. I see what you did there. Actually pretty lame. No, I, I'm, I'm, I shouldn't have lulled at that. That was awful. Sup? 
sound of this campaign shitting itself. I probably shouldn't shit on Richard's sequences if I have one in the Bloodbath written chapter, but I can't really explain my reasoning behind that without spoiling the whole thing, so I really can't. My god. It's too sauced. We done? Jesus. <laughs> Do you like hurting other people? <laughs> Why the Richard scene is pointless? Richard's, Richard's not a mouse, he's a rat. I mean, quiet as a rat isn't really an expression, though. Two janitors. Friends of one of my old friends. Okay. They plantation hideout in the Everglades? I mean, we did skip, like, this whole campaign, so... Yeah. You know, Jack, I've never hated you. I just found you to be an annoyance. Oh, uh, now I can't relate to you anymore. Thanks, I'll remember that. Jack will remember that. Was this like this in Hotline 1? I actually don't remember. At least it didn't give Jack a face, I mean... Basically asking how to find Bone Zone to your music. Um... What? Okay. SoundCloud, let me make a playlist for you. Just keep that on the background for a few hours, you'll come across something. That's how I always answer it. The fucking two machine gun thing is so goddamn ridiculous. I really just... I can't. I never liked music to play during Richard sequences. Fair enough. I like Silver Lights from Hotline 1. Pig Fingers, that's it. Pig Fingers is really good. I mean, visually, it's kind of dated. In fact, visually, it's really dated, but... Other than that, it's really fucking good. And it even ties into the Hotline canon, which is nice. Always endearing... Always uh, nice to see a campaign that's actually good to tie itself into canon. Oh, look at the head. Look at his head. Oh, that's that. Oof. I mean, what else could you do? But... Why is he going to also exterior walls? I don't know, because it's a... I don't know. This blasphemy. I'll say, yeah, this song is... I mean, it's not mixtape. <laughs> Okay, we got a melee weapon. Oh shit, that's not a door. I think every Richard sequence attempts were not very good because no one knows for sure what the fuck is Richard. Yeah. Just make a Richard stand-in that, that you make up the rules to. <laughs> it's not Richard, it's just an edgy ghost character. You can do whatever I want. Oh, god damn it. Probably just the Court Inspector face recolor. I'm thinking it is. In Prick Fingers, the Richard scenes are good, yeah. But then again, you know, Pig Fingers is actually, you know, nicely written. <laughs> uh, also set in Scotland, if I remember right, which is interesting. <sighs> I 
Livoid man. God, I'm so glad I skipped the bulk of this campaign. Because I feel like I haven't missed a thing. Well, I missed a... something. Who cares? The thing about Jack and Liz is... Yeah, anyway. I'm not going to pick up from an unknown caller. That's a little... Ah. It's important they'll leave me a message. Um... So... Oh shit, did I just attract a gunner? Ah, oh, it! Let me quote myself. The levels are apparently supposed to be this boring because they're based on Scottish locations and shit, but yeah, they could have been more expanded. Like, the, the levels... Like I said, picnickers... The levels don't look... The, the visuals are pretty freaking boring. But the writing is good, and it's fun. And honestly, that makes up for it. <sighs> I think Vanson worked because he's a war criminal and traumatized Nikolai not because he was a spooky ghost. Fair. Is there a door there? There's no door there. Okay. Oh, another uh, tip for new level creators. Uh, tr try not to use this darkness filter. It's generally a bad idea. Oh my god. Also, Pig Fingers is, um, is an example of how, like, good... Writing in good level design can save mediocre visuals. It's gotta have that meat, you know? Yeah, if, if, I write, if writing's good, personally, I can forgive a lot in a campaign. Anyway, today's lesson is quality over quantity. Yes, plantation house with uh, with buffets in it. And this, what the fuck? I forgot this is supposed to be a plantation. God damn it! Can I just get a? There we go. We almost done? Nope. It doesn't help. These levels are huge, and they're so fucking long too. Which is just the worst. Oh, I thought that was the same fat guy. Can you please tell me how to make working level borders? Oh, yes. Uh, you'll want to use the soldier cam object. Okay, is it a two-step process? One. Also, you need to know how to use notepad. Um, but um, you want to use the soldier fixed camera that has a sprite ID of negative one and an object ID of... 1,182. And then the second part of that is you want to set level borders. Like, you'll go to the toolbar up top and go to, I think it's options, set level borders? Or is it level, set level borders? It's something. God damn it. And the thing is, the level borders, it's a little hard to explain. Um, if I had a visual, I could explain it better. How about after this level, I'll give you a quick, a little visual of what I mean. Um, whoop. Not after this level, excuse me, after this campaign. Because I need a little bit of a breather. Um. <coughs> excuse me, talking too much. Okay. Okay. 
Shit. Darkness filter to avoid for cosmetic or performance stability. Uh, mostly cosmetic reasons. Stability, does it doesn't really affect stability. What affects stability most in my experience is a large amount of unique tiles and a large amount of little furniture objects. That's what I found affects performance the most. Yeah, the darkness filter doesn't affect performance. It just makes it hard to see and looks kind of ugly most of the time. Oh, God damn it! Come on. Okay. Fucking mouse, come on. Come on. God damn it. Fuck. I actually didn't understand anything, but I can use notepad. Okay. Okay, you can use notepad. Uh, just keep in mind the... Check, check out Yoss's special effects guy. That, that has the exact values in it. But I can just tell you here, if you're more of an uh, auditory learner, I guess. Um... Once again, sprite object ID is negative one. Ob er, excuse me. <laughs> sprite ID is negative one. Object ID is 1,182. That's 1182. Um, and when you look, when you see the overlay, I, yeah, when you have a darkness filter and you're playing in a room that's like not pitch black, like mine, I have a decent amount of sunlight. Uh, I can't see. And that shit just kills you. And that's... When the player dies, you don't want it to feel like the game's fault or the level designer's fault. You'll want it to feel like the player's fault for not... playing it properly, I guess. Let's see. What other tips do I have for you? Don't hide enemies underneath furniture. That's generally considered a dick move. Um... Play other people's levels and see what makes them tick. Actually, play the main game and see what makes its levels tick. I'd say start with playing the main game. Can I just come in? No. At least he figured out how to use cutscene doors. Small victories. As I already say, I think making ghost characters is hard because what Nikolai had was hallucinations and it worked with his character, same for Yosef with his daydreaming. But actual ghost characters are way harder to pull off, especially because it doesn't fit, if it doesn't fit the story character. Yeah, the ghost character thing, like, Richard's an interesting case. Um, ah. Shit. Jesus. Yeah, see that dodge there? I almost didn't see him. He killed me last time. God damn it. Game hung, but we're good. So, looky here. If it is not favorite patriot, welcome to our humble commode. Humble commode? I think you're mixing up words, my friend. I think you mean humble abode. Humble commode, Jesus Christ. Give yourselves up. I'm afraid that's not possible. Until the job is done, that is. Is this still the 80s? I, yeah, it's still 89. Like, come on. And they're just gonna, like... And we got Colombians on your side. What? That's... I... Mm. It's a boy! Bruh. Oh no. The edges almost killed one of my levels. Yeah, I know. Edges actually affect performance a lot. You want to be careful with those. Oh no. It's the bar of broken man can't say i would have picked a better place myself are you here to take me to hell are you gonna rip off the shining next oh yeah vietnam vietnam you know, apparently it's likely 
I don't remember, I think I mentioned this on a previous stream. It's likely the Vietnam War also happened in this universe, which is kind of funny. But it's, it's all up in the air. What? Oh, it just, I see. Oh my God. Can we just kill him already? Oh, they really are going to induct him. If I want to remake the ambush level, the Brotherhood style, I had every sprite, and also I've already made level one problem with the freaking borders. I'll show you how to make borders after this campaign. It's real quick, but you need to, I need to make sure you're watching. Proud law, Lawman. I thought you said Lawnman. <laughs> so 50 blessings working with the Colombians? I mean... Like, on a surface level, I guess that makes sense, but, like, come on. We already know this campaign breaks canon because it has the Russian Mafia crumbling before Jacket takes out the leader, which was very much not the case. I'm, I'm pretty sure the... We all know what happened in the games. We're all hotline fans. I don't need to explain it. Jack Desario, or Dorazio. Yeah. It's a boy. <laughs> Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Mass maniac facing 100 plus murder charges. Oof. <laughs> just wait. It's so 2016. You just wait for the for the characters to walk. It's just standing there, staring off into space. Nah, man. You gotta you gotta hide it from them. You gotta distract them, like that scene in My Cousin Vinny where he does the card trick. Card My Cousin Vinny is a really good film, by the way. Plumby Boss's nose is always fucked up like this? Okay. I mean, he was born with it. Why didn't the creator include Creedence Clearwater Revival for the Vietnam War records? I don't know. The boss isn't in the center of the table. Oof. I'm not even paying attention to the dialogue at this point. Let's just get this over with. Hold down right mouse button. How long have I been going? We started at 10. We're going about an hour and a half. Gave up on homework, got angry. Aw. Is it math? Because I hate math. We're almost done. Last level, boys. There are no edges. There are some edges, just not... Alright, fuck it. Come on. Oh no, it's another bright villa with Colombians in it. Oh dear. Oh my god, this is tight. Jesus. It's like... Okay, anyone else here think Colombians and 50B working together is stupid? This happens when you combine three stories in one campaign. Yeah. Once again, quality over quantity. And if it is a story that you just need to tell... Try to split it up. I mean, I'm the guy who made a 13 level campaign, but... To be fair, it used to be longer, and I tried condensing it as much as I could. I mean, epilogue notwithstanding. Connecting tissue notwithstanding. Come on. I 
didn't see the dog. Did the creator unironically replace the 9 mm with a revolver? Yes, he did. Oh, it's coding. You're taking a coding class? I kind of wish I'd taken a coding class. About the darkness filter, what about it? It's definitely not smart. I had a story where the Colombians were posing as 50B, but that's not a healthy relationship. It's getting worse each time I blink. Just make long cutscenes. Be base. Look, I'm not going to tell you how you should make your story. If you're going to make long cutscenes, give them spectacle, man. <laughs> make, them, make them visually interesting. And that'll actually keep people engaged. There's actually a pretty, pretty high value... There's actually pretty high value based on uh, visuals in the community. In terms of, like... At least there was. Um, and hell, I'm a sucker for visually pretty stuff, too. But visuals alone are not going to save a campaign. Ah, oh, damn it. Why the fuck would 50B work with the club? Because it makes direct Russian sound. It doesn't make sense. And the conceit for it also is not canonical. It, it, it breaks the canon of Hotline. Or the implied canon, anyway. Like I said... The mass maniacs are what collapsed the mob. The mob didn't just collapse on its own. They had a fucking death grip on Miami before Jacket took them out. Son of a bitch, man. <coughs> we almost done? Ugh, god damn it. Welcome to my humble commode. I'm sorry. I can't get over that. Oh my god. It's literally a hedge maze, but with bricks. Lovely. Hello? Anyone around? Yep, these guys. If your cutscene doesn't have 50 blessings, 50, excuse me. If your cutscene doesn't have 50 dialogue lines and 15 animations in between those, you can't make cutscenes, period. Oh, come on, Fox. Don't be gatekeepy. Fuck. Let's go. Let's. Oh, goddammit. They're just featureless red hallways, man. Uh... <laughs> ah! God. New architecture gimmick, green brick maze. Is the Uzi slightly longer? It is. They lengthened the body of the Uzi. I don't know why. Gotta love the return of, uh... Ah! Love the return of, um... Fucking... Whatever the fuck this music is. Super climactic music this is not. Honestly, like, folks who give 50 blessings all of these huge resources kind of miss the point of them being like a, a homegrown fascist, or what's the, what's the word? They're, they're a homegrown terrorist organization, you know? And, um, I can't think of the word. It's, I'm not trying to, not alt-right, uh, never mind. Oh my god, how long is this fucking level? Fucking dog. 
Fascist paramilitary organization that's objectively evil. <laughs> oh god, blank. <laughs> yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to think of that less uh, extreme word I'm trying to think of. Why do we have soldier enemies now? Bruh. Fucking... Jesus Christ. You got some balls walking in here like that. Thanks. All sorts of damage. Okay. Why are his eyes pink? I don't know. You probably mean ultranationalism? I think I do. Yeah. Boss. Federico. Oh, F Federico. Don't make me play another level. <laughs> Fucking keep it designed. I'm expecting it, and it's still funny. I was in shop, what did I miss? I skipped... I skipped the vast majority of this campaign. It skipped, like, to the penultimate level. <laughs> Hit the reset button. Yep. No, sure. I love the Spider-Man color palette. I know, right? Is the campaign still shit? Yep. It's just really badly written, overly long shit. He, you're out again. With this cult. We're almost done. Don't, you're gonna make me walk all the way back. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, we've been at this for an hour and I skipped like over half of this campaign because it was just so boring. If I missed a transition, I'm gonna feel awful. Game broke. Game broke. Game broke. We're not playing that again. <laughs> We're not playing that again. Nope. Uh, was that the last level as well? That was the last level as well. Well, looks like we'll have to leave the ending up to the imagination because I, uh, uh mm, God damn it. That was actually draining. Uh, we don't get to see the end of it. <laughs> it is the canon ending. Jack has a stroke. Anyway, before we move on to uh, Nate, uh, what what I call it in the stream title, the Alex one. Let me see if this has music. Nope. Vanilla campaign. Let me uninstall the. Uh, Shit. Let me uninstall the shit, yes.
Okay, play politics? What the hell is that? Let's just get to move on. Play Ivan, I'm ready to translate. I wanted to wait for the official English translation though. Because if we play, if I play the original Ivan and have a translator, that's gonna take forever. <laughs> Look at politics, it's a meme. Will Patriots Deadblock be active on Tumblr again? Oh yeah, I forgot that existed. Uh, I don't know. I should probably look into that. I think I found it. It's the one that said Minneapolis. Not for the faint of heart. This campaign is deep heart in the subject matters of 2020. You've been warned. Oof. Toxic Coffee gives the level design a very high praise. You know what? I might play that on a decent campaign stream when I have the energy. I feel like Jack and Liz just fucking totally drained me. Um, okay, where is... Here it is. Puzzle Box Campaign. Fake, real, love. That. <laughs> it's a strawberry donut with too much icing. And yeah, uh, we're glad to have you girls here today. Both of you. Here. On our casting couch. Oh god. Oh, the pleasure's all ours, sir. We've always wanted to be in movies. Haven't we, Corey? Why do we have to take our clothes off? Don't feel embarrassed. It's purely for artistic purposes. Yeah, Corey, haven't you ever seen old art and stuff and shit? People have always knew in those. It's artistic and stuff. Precisely. Now, why don't we begin with the casting, huh? How about you? How about you, blonde? <laughs> Areolas. What are those again? What? Areola? Is that circular? Oh. Wait a second. This isn't casting. It's some kind of fake casting. Christ. No. No, the casting's real. It's just, uh, for what kind of a movie exactly? Um, porno? Oh my god, you sweaty sack of shit. I might strip that from Troll Stranger, but I'm not a goddamn whore. Wait a second. That review I posted on politics was copy-pasted from Snowfall's comment section? Oh, no. No, it's not a horror business. It's more like an erotic entertainment. Sex work is real work. I agree with that statement, but it's gonna be a no for me as well. Shut your fucking mouths, all of you. Ash. Was that... Was that Ash's penis? Did you... Is that... Get my chainsaw. We're out of here. Gotcha. I swear to God I saw his dick. What was your goddamn plan here? Fools into this... Fuckery under these professional film lights in front of that video camera. You actually think people thought this shit? I thought you, you were just playing along. This is not a scam. Nothing illegal. We're just swind we're not swindling people. Asking you to take your clothes <laughs> doesn't ring any bells to you. I am not a slut. I'm a respectable woman. A respectable woman with a chainsaw. Here we go. I'm getting Swanses flashbacks. Oh, it feels good to have actual level design. Feels good to be playing an actual level. Where'd that guy go?
Let's go ham, fellas. Maybe. Okay, I'm really out of practice. Fucking hell. That's a very explicit uh, death sprite puzzle box. Or Jerry. I don't remember who made the sprite. Uh, probably Jerry, actually. Come to think of it. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> hey Jerry, remember the time I asked you to draw? <laughs> I I literally asked him to draw genitals on fucking the the Mord corpse, and I put a and I put the cloth on top of it. God damn it. Because autopsies are performed nude, if I'm not mistaken. But, or, I mean, I just had a funny mental image. But The only campaign where I will definitely yell, guys, don't look. Mini Season 2 Biker Fat Execution. <laughs> oh, jeez. God, Mating Season 2... Uh, it was... Something. What's with the... Am I going crazy? Hold on. Am I retarded? I have my goddamn environment patch sprites on. Oh my god. Oh my god, have we been looking at the wrong tiles this whole time? Have I just... Well, since we started this... Let me skip... Oh, God damn it. Jack and Liz still wasn't good, but the levels probably didn't look as bad as I thought they did. Yeah, the tiles looked alright in the... That's why I didn't notice for, like, minutes. Oh, my God. I knew... This whole time, I was forgetting something, and I just, I remember it. <sighs> anyway, we didn't, we're not, uh, we didn't miss anything. <laughs> well, it looks, well, it looks different. Fucking hell. Read there are four months, one day for Tom 18th birthday. I'll be legally able to do that, but I will not do it for Max's sake and safety of mind. I see something. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I totally forgot about that. I feel. Ah, uh, gosh.
good. Oh, I didn't notice that guy. Maybe doing two campaigns in one stream was not a good idea. <laughs> Oh god, that's gross. <laughs> it's a poop sock. I like how they burn their clothes as well. She's so small compared to the original sprite. Yeah, the original sprite is wearing football armor. Uh, <laughs> football armor, football padding. I didn't explain the border thing. Oh, I didn't. Ah, shit. So basically. When you go, when you hit like options, and uh, I'll show you after this scene. So I dragged you along. That was total bullcrap. I legitimately thought you were going to be in real, actual movies. I know, but uh, thanks for accompanying me. Wouldn't have done it alone. Oh, no problem, Alex. Oh, that's what friends are for. Yeah, we've been friends for quite a while now, haven't we? True. How long's it been since Hawaii? Close to five years now, hasn't it? Five years having each other's back. Uh huh. But I still feel like I don't know that much about you, Corey. Like, any intimate stuff. How intimate you want to get. <laughs> I mean, just, what do you enjoy in life? You in a relationship? Not at the moment, no. I'm kind of a reserved person. Okay, what you mean? Makes you pretty lonely in the long run, though. All guys I know are total meathead potheads. Maybe I shouldn't lay off the weed, get to know some interesting people. What I'm saying is, I'm kind of lonely, too. It was nice hanging out with you and Asher. It was fun. Want to hang out some more? <clears throat> I'd like that. Let's go to my place. I've got weed and a, <laughs> and a great body. Wow, thanks, you too. <laughs> We're still both naked, I see. Don't worry, it's a nude beach. Nice safe. Stream lagged. Do you guys not see the poop sock? Okay, hang on. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about before I forget again. Okay, so you say we got a level. And... Let's pretend you have the camera already set up, the camera object. You want to go to um, level up here. If you guys are seeing this. Go down to set level borders. And the way you want to set it is, um, I mean, this is a bad example. Let me pick something that's more in bounds. Yeah. Um, when you, whoops. When you set level borders, um, you don't, let's pretend, I know what to do. I know just what to do. Let's pretend I'm setting up tiles, right? And that looks awful. You guys can't even see that. Let's pretend these are the tiles that I want to use. And like I'm doing the, like I'm doing the fixed camera thing, like the Hunter series or something. Here's what I was meaning to say. You don't want to set your camera borders up like this. You don't want to do this, because if you do... <clears throat> oh, wait. Fuck, I don't have to fix it. Never mind. 
If you do, look, just, son of a bitch. Here's how you should set them up. You want one uh, wall length from the end of each. So pretend that yellow goes all the way to the bottom. Uh, that's how you want to do it right there. Hopefully that makes sense. I gotta restart or else I'm gonna break my game. Man, this stream has just kind of been a mess. <clears throat> what if I should make, like, I don't know. I mean, level editor tutorials already exist, but, um, I feel like I want to do something more structured than what I've been doing with all these streams. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Well, uh, that just happened. It sure did. I don't want to lie and say I, say I didn't like it, because I did, but right now I just feel overwhelmed. I can't put it into words. I feel the same way. Does this mean... Does this mean... What? Are we us now? Us? Are we, like, together? That's a pretty big question right now. I mean, we just woke up. I know. <laughs> we smoked a lot of weed. We drank a lot. We were totally wasted. Oh. So you mean there wasn't anything? Obviously there was something, but... Alex, we just woke up. I don't know. But we had a lovely time, and... What do you think? I told you I don't know. I don't know what I think just yet. I gotta go. Well. Okay. What are you doing here, Ash? What was that about? What's that you're wearing? A prison jumpsuit? No, it's my orange pajamas. I've literally never seen you wear... I've never seen you wear that. Well, <laughs> any had any distractions last night, you might have noticed. Shut up and move out. It's embarrassing to share a bedroom with you. A little more sibling love would be appreciated. I didn't mean it like that. I, I need something to clear my head. Can we go kill some people? <laughs> I have chemo in two hours. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, let's get going, then we can do both. But what if I get shot? <laughs> is that, has that ever fucking happened? Come on, we'll get ice cream later. Oh my god. Is there a document of all the obscure stuff to avoid, or what do you need on the Hotline 2 stuff? Uh, could you elaborate on that? Fuck. I love how she's still naked. Like, I get that's the joke, but still. It's quite funny. Uh. Ah. Uh. Well, alright. Get fucked! What is that? Never mind. My mind's in the gutter. So hey, uh, who else thought their genders were reversed before release? They thought the small one was the girl, and the guy was the one with the chainsaw. Goes to show how uh, not progressive I am, I guess. I guess the word would be regressive or stagnant, whatever. Him having chemo is way funnier than it should be. Yeah, no, I, I I agree with you. Stuff like avoid using second frame frame PCs, etc. Seems like, unless I've learned from experience over the years. Hmm. 
I suppose I could. Uh, to make sure we're on the same page here, I'll say it one more time. You're under arrest for indecent exposure. Public nudity. It's a federal offense and we ain't having that shit. That's okay, I could use a break. Ow. You could use a breakout? You planning to break out of here? Don't do it, sister. Life of crime is a slippery slope. First it's flashing in public, then wham. You're in the Miami you later. I need a break from my life. God, it's a mess. I just had sex with my best friend and feel ashamed. I like her, but I don't know, it's crazy. I don't know what to think. I do. Oh my god. I'll gladly stay here as long as you wish. I need to take some time off. Sorry about these conflicting feelings in my sorry about these conflicting feelings. <clears throat> Wait a second, aren't you that chick I helped find her stolen clothes? Oh, hello, Detective Pardo. We had sex also, you and me. Yeah. You didn't <laughs> You didn't defecate in my mouth. Of course not, that's fucking gross. Insanitary. <laughs> oh, I'm the pervert here. I'm disgusting. Oh, God. Way to kick shame others, you goddamn nudist bitch. <laughs> there are plenty more fish in the sea. Salmons and such. Ah, salmon. I see what you did there. Oh, God. That's graphic. Okay. So what do you make of this? Jesus Christ, how long have you guys been here? <laughs> oh my god. God, I hate this joke so much, but I still laughed. <laughs> it is a good joke. Welcome to Mary Jane Market, the pot, the pot shop for your weed needs. Yeah, hi, I have this coupon. Nine stamps and a blunt for free? Sorry, we've only got you've only got eight. Uh no, it's nine boxes and they're all stamped, see? I see the eight stamp overlaps the ninth box, but it's still eight But it's still not eight stamps. You wanna buy some weed? I can get that ninth stamp for you. With these prizes, no way. I'd better be off with my dealers behind the well of ancient mysteries. And they cut their weed with nettle. <laughs> That's how tr terrible your prices are. I can't... Can you imagine that? Oh, my God. Ash, borrow me your health... I think you mean lend me. Lend me your health insurance card. I need to get myself some weed. But but I need it for, my need for medical marijuana. I'm in constant pain. Well, can you please, pretty please, borrow me some of that... Lend me some of that stuff. My doctor said I shouldn't. He said, you're a bad sister and a leech. I'm not a leech. He shouldn't have left... <laughs> he shouldn't have left two prescription painkillers on his desk so alluringly... I just want to be happy with my meds. Well, things didn't work out with Corey, so I'm running out of options. Oh, this is still about her, huh? What else? What you should do is talk to her. She doesn't want to see me. I don't even know where she's gone to. I could give you the snipes. My own sister's more important than my stupid terminal. Can't... Oh, breaking news, breaking news. Miami City, breaking news. The police have arrested a naked lady. What the... Earlier today, Miami PD's finest captured a nudist woman in downtown. She, excuse me, she was walking full frontal nude down the street, traumatizing children, until she was heroically choke slammed by Detective Manny Pardo. Oh God, Corey's been arrested. And you're sure it was her? We're in Florida after all. Seeing a naked lunatic wander down the street is hardly unheard of. The perpetrator was young and hot. Okay, it was Corey. <laughs> We've got to save her. You said she doesn't want to see you, and that's supposed to stop me from helping a friend in need. What's that established rule of our mask club, Ash? No incest. Oh, right. What was the fuck the, what was the, fuck the police run? Fifth. Only fifth? Should have been like second. The second rule was Tony should get a job. Bah. And how's that worked out? What are we talking about? Rescuing Corey? And what's I got to do with her rules? A friend in need is a friend indeed. Just screw the pigs and all that. You wanted me to speak to Corey. This is me attempting just that. As you might have noticed, we need to save her first. Okay, let's do it. No buts, no stipulations. I'll gladly take a shot in the face at this point. At this... <clears throat> Excuse me. You're too pretty for bullets, baby bro. Let's show them the power of love and friendship. And chainsaws. I like the weed shop. <laughs> Just... This campaign is actually really funny. <laughs> oh shit, I'm low on battery. Uh, thankfully, this... Oh, piss off, we had... We were here first. We're here to see that hot naked lady they spoke about on the news. What a coincidence! Oh jeez, so are we. Let's go. Oh 
shit. There we go. Ah, damn it. I'm not the one in charge of the Russian translation, pal. And, uh, you can fuck off with suicide threats. That's not funny. How do you shadow from the corpses you add with Notepad++? You want to change the um, object ID to something that doesn't have a shadow the player can walk over. Personally, I like using the 50 blessings flag for that. God dang it, there we go. Waste a whole mag on him. Where are my Russian translate? I'm not in charge of the Russian translation. I'm not the one translating it. That is up to my translator. But sometime this month is what I've been told. What the fuck? Pardo, you okay? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, dude, no! Why? Bruh. Puzzle. God damn it. I never hotline because I. 42016? Fair enough. That's. Don't give me attention, he's just an asshole. I can tell. I can tell. Uh oh, I thought. I thought Ash came in there with me. Dude. Take it easy. Where are we going? Nope. Wait. Oh. Also, what about NPC having no shadows that triggers you? It's the fact that I act I went through Snowfall and Red Star, like, li it literally took me a week straight of fixing that issue. And like, aha, there she is. Let's get back to the van first. I don't want to shoot her with, scared with this saw. I already spooked her away once. Leave the doors open, Ash. We don't want to get locked out. Well, fair enough excuses any to go to the, the van and avoid a crash. <coughs> Phone is down 10% battery. We'll find out what's up with Pardo. My boy Manny has Viagra overdose. Could you wait outside? This is between me and her. Sure thing, sis. I ain't gonna poke my nose into your project any more than you want me to. Couldn't have gone this far without you, Ash. You know, you can keep all that weed ears to yourself. I don't need it. Gee, thanks. What a reward. Oh, okay. So now you're being passive aggressive with me, huh? I thought we were having a sibling bonding moment here. Jesus, listen, <laughs> loosen up. I mean nothing by it. Quit stalling and go kiss your girlfriend. He's still not wearing pants. I hope they acknowledge that. Hey, I heard you got arrested. I came to rescue you. Oh, that's nice of you. That's what friends are for, right? Just friends? You're my best friend, Corey. I don't want to lose you. Likewise, Alex. Likewise. But I want us to be just friends. I do not wish to be in a loving lesbian relationship with you. Oh, you sure? I didn't expect you to say that. Quite the opposite. I was ready to smoke some weed and what? <laughs> Jesus. Look, Alex, what we did last night was an experience, but also an experiment. 
I've been thinking, thought about it all day long, and now I'm done. I'm not gay, Alex. I don't feel like it. We're not gonna have to deal with that. I will. I don't want to force you. Whatever you want. I'm sorry I confused you, Corey. I love your company and just want things to be back to normal. No, that's like, <laughs> no lesbian sex. Just you and me doing stuff together. Friends. That's exactly what I want as well. Can I hug you? Anytime, Alex. Friends. Nothing sexual. Nothing sexual. Oh, God. Oh, God! Jesus Christ! Was that necessary? <laughs> and that's where it ends! <laughs> From the degenerate mind of Puzzle Box. Maz used. I think Alex and Corey by Direct Mecha. Go on, then. Comment why in Workshop. I dare you, motherfuckers. You ask me why, but you know damn well why. No one will objectify the making of this campaign. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that was, uh... Something. I don't want to ask. You don't have to. We're not going to get any answers. I still can't get over the humble commode thing. <laughs> um, wow, okay. That was something. <laughs> Next one's Naked Tony or Naked Mark. Oh, God. <laughs> naked Mark is barrel new meaning, doesn't it? Um, more streams, please. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for this stream. Um... <gasps> Excuse me, um, because Jack and Liz just totally drained me. Um, oh, before I go, do you all want me to check me DMs? That's right. <gasps> Naked Mark. I'm checking DMs. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why? Why do you do this to me, Leah? <laughs> I never asked for this. I didn't either. I'm not going to show it on stream, but, uh... Y'all know the picture of, like, the portrait of John with the towel? It's that, but with Simon's face on it. And he looks sensual. It's so creepy. <laughs> Also, nice, nice, nice funky stuff, Mira. I like it. I like the funk. I know this one. Mira knows what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> Alright, one, one, one more thing, and then... I'm gonna call because stream's going on for a bit over two hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh god damn! Ah, uh, uh, that uh, that is that's even worse. It's the same body sprite, but now with Rule sixty three Yosef on it, which is uh, that makes it a femboy, because this is a male body type. Oh, it's not rule 63. <laughs> Fuck. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. Hang on, look, it's really small. It's just Yosef. Oh, I see. No, it's just stylized Yosef. It looks really small. So I thought it was... God damn it. <laughs> I thought... Fuck. You gotta send me the larger size next time so I can actually... <laughs> tell what it is oh that was an all that was, that was uh <laughs> that was a mistake all right now i'm gonna i'm gonna end this before we go any farther good good night <laughs>